the Edinburgh District Library, and you've already met my tiny kitten. She's about three months old and playing with the a rope toy that I made her from fabric scraps. Today I'm going to show you how to do it. I've got two different versions. One involves a little bit of sewing and fabric scraps, and the other one is going to involve no sewing whatsoever and an old t-shirt. These are the other materials you'll need. So what I have here, these are fabric strips from, actually from when I was sewing face masks. So this is quilting cotton, and they are about, let's see, some of them are about three quarters of an inch. Some of them are an inch wide. Ideally, they're all gonna be the same width, but I think three quarters and an inch are okay amounts. I need three of them, whatever colors you want. Ooh, all these little tiny, tiny strings are tangled up together. They don't need finished edges. That's one of the great things about this. Front side, back side, doesn't matter. We're gonna take each of these, stretch them out. I have about, is this a yard? Let's see. Yeah, I've got a little bit more than a yard of each of these. So I'm gonna put them into a pile. Here we are. Well, let's put the white one on the bottom, and two red ones on top. And then I'm gonna take one of my pins and about an inch from the top, I'm gonna to slide this pin in to just hold the three of them together while I sew them. If you're using thread and needle and not a sewing machine, you're gonna to wanna to find a spot in the middle and put a stitch there and then stitch over that stitch and then stitch over that stitch and stitch over that stitch again. You're gonna make one really, really big looking stitch here and that will anchor everything together while you work and while the kitten plays with it. If you're using a sewing machine like I am, just go ahead and sew a cross or you can also sew down or you can sew in an X. All right, off to the sewing machine. I'll be right back. I'm back from the sewing machine and I have quickly and simply sewn an X using just a straight stitch. I've used contrasting thread so you can see it here on the video, but use whatever color makes you happy. I'm gonna take my straight pin out of there. And then what I'm gonna do is braid this long strip. To get a really nice braid on it, however, I'm gonna anchor this end temporarily to something, like the arm of my couch. So I've got my safety pin, the end of the fabric, and one part through the couch fabric, and close the pin. So this is going to be enough weight that I can tug on it while braiding without moving uh, the furniture, without my braid moving around. And I've done this lots of times and it doesn't hurt most cloth furniture. From here, I'm just gonna do a simple three strand braid. It doesn't have to be super tight or super loose, but you do want the tension to be even going all the way down. That'll help prevent there being any gaps or loops in your final braid. Now that I'm at the end here, I'm going to put another pin in this just to hold my braid together while I go and sew it. I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine once again, do the same thing as I did at the beginning. Uh, if you were doing this by hand, you're gonna do the same thing you did at the other end, which was put a stitch over and over and over in the same place to anchor it. All right, off to the sewing machine again. Well, first I have to release this from my couch. Okay, back from the sewing machine. I put an X through the other end, and now I'm gonna make sure I find that straight pin I put in there. Take that out before I let my kitten play with it. That's important. I'll trim up all the little threads that are dangling here. 
If you want, you can try to trim some of these frayed edges from the raw edge of the scrap cotton. You don't necessarily need to do that. Because we braided it, the raw edges won't fray as badly as they would if they were not braided, just, you know, regular old fabric. I'm still gonna trim it up a little bit. But the nice thing about this is that it is all cotton, so if it gets kind of funky or the kitten drags it through, oh goodness, her litter box or something, she really shouldn't have dragged it through, or if it gets wet, you can just throw in the washing machine with the rest of your laundry and it comes out nice again. Here we go. Kitten toy. Kitten. Kitten, kitten. Okay, maybe not. So. There's one version. Like this one that you saw her playing with earlier. I'm gonna show you a no-sew version next. No thread needed, just an old t-shirt, some scissors, or a roller cutter. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take that clean old t-shirt and you're gonna smooth it out flat on the surface. If you're using a roller cutter, make sure you have a cutting board underneath it. If you're using scissors, well, you've got options. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come up from the bottom of the t-shirt, a half inch or an inch, and make sure you cut off the hem. Once you've cut off the hem, go ahead and cut three strips into it, each about an inch apart going the whole width of the t-shirt. Then you end up with rings of fabric and then go ahead and stretch these out as much as you can. They will curl in on themselves and it's kind of like calamari in that sense. Yeah, these circles of slightly curled fabric. My t-shirt happens to have a seam on either side so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of those seams and I'm gonna cut it off so that I don't have a circle of fabric anymore so that I have a really long piece. And I'm gonna do that with each of my three strips of fabric. If you're lucky and your t-shirt only has one seam, perfect, cut it off. Uh, mine has two seams, so I am gonna have a seam in the middle of my braid, and that is just something I have to accept. Let's get all the ends together. There we are, three even ends. And now I'm just gonna put a simple knot in there, wrapping the fabric around my fingers, pulling the end back through the hole, the loop I just made, and pulling, pulling it tight. Just like last time, I'm going to take a pin through the knot and attach it to the arm of my couch for braiding. All right, so I've got my three strands from my t-shirt knotted and attached to my couch, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do a simple three strand over under braid. Now, once I'm knit back near the bottom and I've got one of the strands is no longer long enough to braid, I'm gonna make another knot, wrap it around my fingers, pull the end through the loop I just made, and snug it nice and tight. Now, as you may have noticed, the kitten is very happy to play with each of the individual strands, so why braid them? Why bother with that? Well, it's just making it sturdier. This is gonna last a little bit longer as three braided pieces than it would as uh, just individual strands, and you don't have those raw edges shedding everywhere. And lastly, the kitten seems to find it very satisfying to chew on uh, the braid, and she has been known to carry it around places. And there we are, an extremely long, kitten toy and it is ready to go. 
no sewing needed. I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with a kitten and making this braided rope toy. There's other cat toy making videos here on AADL TV, including a string and feathery cat toy and a crinkle chaser video coming up in the near future. But before you go, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button and we'll see you again.